Donald Trump has been president for just about a week now. How does one of his celebrity backers think he's doing so far? Willie Robertson, CEO of Duck Commander, and of course, stars in AE's mega hit, Duck Dynasty. Endorsed Mr. Trump for president all the way back in January 2016, before the Iowa caucuses. He joins us now live from Liberty, Mississippi. Willie, it's good to see you. And I'm wondering, first of all, when I talked to you to get you on the show, you said you were in the middle of nowhere in the woods. Hillary Clinton has been spending a lot of time in the woods. There's a Twitter account now. Uh, people are finding her in the woods. Are you looking for her right now? I thought she may walk by tonight, but she's not, she's not here in this part of the uh, country. So uh, I can tell you that. So there was no Hillary Clinton sightings here. Uh, so I was free of that. Actually, I she, came to the woods, Ed, because, yeah. because when I'm in D.C. for that long, I talk to my doctor. I have to detox. So I have to go out in the woods for at least a week uh, to get away from all that. Get away from everybody in the woods and uh, uh, try to get some meat uh, for, the, for the hunt. All right, so your hunting season's almost over. We can talk about that in a minute, but I did see you at the inaugural. Uh, first of all, give me your reflections on that, and then we'll get to the women's rally that, that you also saw a little bit of, and you weren't happy. You know, I was wearing a hat that the New York Times called Jaunty the next day. Uh, you've always got the, you know, the band on your head as well, so I was just trying to match you, perhaps. Give me your reflections, first of all, in all seriousness, about Donald Trump's inaugural speech, which his critics said was very dark. No, I, I thought it was, I mean, for me and my family, I had a lot of my family there, and it was an honor for us to be there, to be invited, mm -hmm. and uh, just to see, see that part of a, of a president, uh, you know, taking his inauguration, and uh, it was an honor to be there, and I, I was blown away uh, just by the whole system, the system that we have in our country, and uh, how we do transfer that balance of power, and uh, it was an honor for us to be there, and I was very excited. I have uh, been with Mr. Trump for a long time, and uh, we were, uh, it was great to share with his family. I was able to talk to Don Jr. and Eric about, you know, about what now, and because these guys are going to be doing uh, the business, and, uh, mm -hmm. and the expectations are high for President Trump, and uh, I yeah. think he's doing exactly what we want him to do. Everything he said, he's gotten in there very work-like. He gets in there uh, like a CEO coming in there and starting to see if he can solve some problems. So I want to talk to you. You told me that you checked in because you stayed in Washington past the inaugural and saw some of the women's rally. Uh, let's listen to Madonna, and I want you to react. Yes, I'm angry. Yes, I am outraged. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Willie, this was supposed to be a positive, you know, look at women's rights, uh, pushing back on Donald Trump. We have a great tradition in this country of protest. But what was your impression about some of those moments? Well, you know, the next day I went out and uh, I wouldn't say I was in the rally. I got kind of caught up in it trying to go eat dinner. Uh, there was a lot of pink hats out there for sure and uh, wasn't my kind of crowd. And I, I, was, I was blown away by really the, the vulgar signs and the language. And there were children there. I saw children would be sitting by these signs and uh, young kids uh, uh, with all this filth on there. And uh, I understand the anger, but what I can't understand, you know, the Republicans, I felt like, got angry. And so what we did was throw a lot of our guys out and say, we want somebody who can be elected president. So I don't understand why they're not angry at their own party because, let's mm -hmm. face it, I mean, they had a lot of money, they had a candidate, so why their anger is now just at the president, who they, want to, they don't want to see him as president. So why don't you get angry at your own party, fix some things, go meet together. And, uh, and I just didn't understand well, what I was seeing in that rally. I didn't understand yeah. the vulgar. I mean, it was embarrassing. Willie, last question. Tell us about the final season that's coming up. Uh, March 1st, uh, the final season of Duck Dynasty is coming out. Really excited about it. It's been over five years now, so uh, uh, it's, it's been a great run, and uh, I want all the fans to, to we'll go out in style. And so we've got some cool stuff coming up and uh, <laughs> some famous people on there as well. So a lot of good stuff, but good talking to you, Ed. Willie, we appreciate you having you. Uh, you know, good luck with the final season, and good luck with the hunt there in Mississippi. Will do. Have a good night.